shouting in the middle of the bazaar. They surprised me. How was I... Aider. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you interested or not? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <laughs> Call him in, boys. <laughs>
Okay. You. You. How, how did, did you I die? Oh, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear. I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job. Scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent... Others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother. I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. I've been there already and searched the place. No sign of Cliff. Serious? Ah, oh, shit. You don't think they... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? That's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. And where did you last see him? We were in East Corian, close to Devil's Bridge, when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge for clues. Aiden, hey, you serious? You'd do that for me? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I know I didn't exactly make a good impression, but please save him. Some tomatoes, no garlic, or even a carrot.
you go. It's easy. <sighs> Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop, Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not, you're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really wanna know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he had... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. Waltz? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah. They took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did... what? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Whose greater good? The boss's, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy.
Damien. Oh, man, are you still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No, dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Do. So there's no problem, like this right? Remind me why I enlisted. Pilgrim, we spotted specials in the neighborhood. Keep your eyes peeled.
You know the city was a fishing village a few centuries ago? Well, if he was, he didn't show it. Fuck me. Don't think it. Going to sad faces today? <coughs> Damien, what's this all about? Let me in! You hear me, Damien? Open this door before I bust it down. Wait, 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 what's, what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Wait, when one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Psst, you. Got water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal per gallon. <sighs> Something you like in the bazaar? Got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Buddy! Here, boy! Buddy! Where are you? Damien! Stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I've stopped. 
Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? I don't know. Uh, about life? Fuck you. That's what you hung up on. That you're alive and so many aren't now because of you. Damien? I killed them. All of them. Look, man, it was a bad deal all around. You aren't evil. Okay, you were trying to save your brother. They backed you into a corner. But my brother is one person. One person. But I've killed so many. No. Sent them to be killed. You didn't kill them yourself. What choice did you have? Believe me, I've done plenty of bad in the name of good. And then... Just plain bad. But I'm not an evil person. And neither are you, Damien. I am. I could have found another way. But did I try? I can't close my eyes without seeing the face of every kid. I said, hey, you're new around here, too. They're all dead. And now so is my brother. Because of me. I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. You can prove how strong you really are. Live your life and use each day to make it right. It's too much to fix. I can't, I, it could never be enough. I'm sorry, Aiden. Make room, I'm jumping with you. Are you crazy? Why not? We can go together. Now what's one more death added to your tab? Why would you? No, you would never. Try me, jump. Go on, jump. I'll be right behind. You ever hear that most jumpers change their minds mid-air? Uh, no. That's true. They're falling and think, oh fuck, maybe this actually wasn't the smartest thing I've done in my life. Soon my head's gonna smash open like a watermelon and I'll writhe around with no control over my arms and legs and beg for someone to finish me off. But nobody's gonna finish you off here, Damien. Except maybe the infected. They'll eat you foot to forehead, Damien. Slowly. I'm going. See you on the ground. Wait! Let's talk. About what? I... I, I don't know. About life? Maybe. Sure. But I guess I don't have a life anymore. All the guys that died, they died because... And quit being a broken record, will ya? You'll get over it. Now pull yourself the fuck together and back away from that ledge, or you really will fall. You feel bad about those deaths? That's great. It means you got a conscience. There's not many left in this town with a conscience, but you got one, and that's why you should live. To make up for what you did. There will always be time to jump. Tomorrow, day after, no rush. Look, I won't stop you, but keep this in mind. Like I said before, make it right. Keep living. At least till you make it right. So, how many deaths do you think you're responsible for? Don't make me say it, Aiden. Eight, maybe. Eight? Even better. Better? Yeah, because now you have to save eight lives. Deal? But... Gotta balance those scales, Damien. Do we have a deal? Deal. Smart move. I better not regret this. You won't. I got a job for you. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> How about that? Damien's got a sense of humor. Gallows humor, I guess. Yeah, it seems appropriate, all things considered. Aiden? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. I saved your life, kid. Now don't fuck it up, okay? Jesus, Damien. What's up with you? Were you about to jump? I was, but Aiden... What's with this? It's all my fault business. Talk to me. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother. All dead. Because of me. 
the men who took my brother. They forced me, but that's no excuse. I'm disgusting. I didn't want to live anymore. Oh, you'll live long enough to see justice served. Aiden, you stay out of this. Unless you want to be dangling next to Damien when they finally hang him. There will always be people like the PK. Yeah. <sighs> 
Hello? I got nothing to say to you. Get the... How'd you find my secret entrance? You call that a secret? It was supposed to be. You're out of luck, though, buddy. I still don't know anything about anything. A Dodger sent me. Dodger? Who is... Oh. He told me to say sayonara. Does that help? Okay. Shit. You should have started there. Dodger's looking for the order you owe him. <laughs> I bet. See that? Busted leg. That's why I don't have Dodger's order. You need help? Nah. Wait. Don't go back to him. He finds out I botched the job. I'm done around here. And what should I tell him? Don't matter. He won't give a shit. He'll think I'm fucking him over. Hi. Can you go for me? Check out this storage area in an underground parking lot on St. Joseph Street. Cross the fence right in front of the massage parlor, enter the building, and head down the elevator shaft. Well, hey, slow down. First, what would I be looking for if I did this for you? GRE containers. According to the rumor that reached Dodger, there was a military installation here set up in the first days of the outbreak. And where there's military, there's usually a healthy stash of supplies. Uh, what kind of supplies? Don't know for sure, but usually good stuff from before the outbreak. It was only the finest for the military. Medicine, booze, whatever. <laughs> hmm. No wonder Dodger wants this delivery so badly. Yep. Here. Take these bangers and give it a try, will you? It'd be a big score for all of us, but I'm out of the running now. Literally. Okay. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks. You're saving my ass by doing this, buddy. But I'd wait till night falls to go there. Both zones are probably filled to the brim with infected right now. Well, thanks for the tip. Can you stop staring like that? I know what I look like.
I'll be fine. How about you? Who are you? Uh, you guys need help? We'll be fine, thanks. What happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey, hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then part of a wall collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah, I gotta make good on a promise. Here, if you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. Not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises, Dunst? There's that wailing? Yeah. Like peacocks singing the hallelujah chorus. Must be howlers. They don't attack on their own, but bring other infected running. You think it's all clear? And one shriek and a wave of infected appear. Like fucking scary, man. Maybe we'll come back for this generator. <sighs>
I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. Looks like I struck gold. A bottle of Risen Glory Cognac. And some cigars? Hmm, Cubans, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. Was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? Was it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Hubert was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half fast Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and takes the goods. We got a light on over here. We're gonna put you down, man. Well, I'm gonna get your head. Yeah! Stay still! Keep still! You ain't getting away. Dude! <laughs> 
How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, t take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. Sometimes I wake up at night for a call even after death. That's about mm. when I smile. Then I see the yes, I I I've been planting pumpkins for years and I have been doing just fine. What? Do you want to dig it? Hey then, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay. I'm not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac, and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg. So I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. 
You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. Are you fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Doralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? Yeah. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Half-Ast has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. <laughs>